love the lyrics here um, where, but there I see the old man with the old style oil lantern burning brightly down at the end of the hall. But that was way back. I don't know. That was kind of, it's kind of cool. You know, it's like cool kind of picturing like a farmhouse and like shadows kind of dark, you know, lit, you know, he's got yeah. just the lantern and, you know, the oil lantern, you know, an old yeah, man. Didn't tell you, didn't tell you the old man had an axe and the other hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of imagery there. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and that guy over there is Chris. And uh, Chris is going to explain to you what we got cooking tonight. Um, and actually, with the with the cooking is a little coffee. You want to explain to yeah. the crowd out there what it's, I mean by some coffee? It's uh, kind of late to be having coffee, but uh, yeah, it's our, um, our little link to our site, um, to our channel. Uh, it's called Kofi and um, or coffee. I'm not sure, but <laughs> you can um, be guaranteed to have us review, react to, and review your a song that you suggest if you go on that site and uh, buy us a cup of coffee. That's the whole Simple whole idea. That. So one hand washes the other. You know, you get us going on that caffeine, and we'll be happy to do something for you. We're, we're easy that way. So who but, um, who washed your hand for this particular request? <laughs> this is um, my hand has been washed by uh, someone named Nish, N I S H. Yeah. And Nish has requested <clears throat> the song called "Country Boy" by a band named Miracle Legion, who I've never heard of before. Okay. So this is a this is a true first. Excellent. This band for me. Excellent. Good. We like true first, so, right? So we get yeah. a true first reaction. That's right. New All right. song, unfamiliar song, unfamiliar band. So, all right. So let's let's see what they got. Go check it out, man. Come all on right. back and tell me what you I, think. I will be. Oh, back. and and also, I'm going to be listening at the same time that Chris is listening. Because oh, you haven't heard it either. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, have a, you heard this band before? No. No, okay. not okay. at all. Um, all right. So, so you get uh, two for the price of one. Done a little research that I'll tell you about on the other side, um, which okay. is interesting. Uh, things actually, I think I'm going to blow your socks off a little bit, a couple of things. <laughs> so with that said, actually, you know, be honest with you, I'm not wearing socks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. I, I, no, I like, know. I think every other one we've done, I've had socks, at least socks on. Right. Maybe even shoes. But now yeah. I'm like, you know. It's because I keep blowing your socks off with all these requests. You're just like, you're no, like, you know what? I'm not wearing socks, not socks, socks on at all. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> like... <laughs> so I'm going to end up sockless anyway. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Come on back. I really like those um, those horns in there.
That was a good one. I think we got a new band here that I'd like to get uh, more familiar with. All right. So look at you. You checked out uh, Country Boy. Uh, the first thing I was wondering, uh, well, other than just listening at first, um, yeah. I was wondering how the, the name Country Boy fit with the song. But I'm sure you'll explain that if you did your homework right. Uh, okay. So um, that, yeah. But listen, but listen, I, I, yeah, yeah. I really... Yeah. Um, I have no idea what to expect. This, this, I like this. I like this song. Yeah. Um, it had a nice kind of like. Uh, when I say laid back, I don't want to make it sound like it's so mellow. Or, you know, right. But, but it was right. kind of laid back. You know, and and one of the things I liked about it was the use of the harmonica and some horns, especially in the beginning. Uh, yeah. This came in. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> overall, it was just a good vibe throughout. So I, I definitely want to look further into what this band has. Yeah. And yeah, me too. With my newfound knowledge of their background that you're going to provide. The first listen, I liked it a lot. And um, what I liked, I just, it did have like an 80s sound. And so you might be curious when this was uh, recorded and was in the 80s. Yeah, I was going to ask. It was actually um, uh, 1987, 87. I got a lot of years here. So 1987, it was off their first album, Surprise, Surprise, Surprise. Um, And so I don't know if you kind of picked up on, you know, like in sort of, especially with with the drums, you know, the drum kind of sound had like that sort of 80s sort of drum um, if um, it wasn't like this heavy, very, I'd have to listen to it again for that. But I, uh, it, it definitely when you just told me it was eighty seven. I, yeah. I thought it would it. I thought the oldest it would be was sometime in the nineties, because to me it didn't really have much of a. That, it didn't have a lot of that eighty sound that I th- at least has we characterized the eighties. I thought I thought you know drum sounds in the eighties they kind of went almost two ways you know. Uh, for the most part, I mean, you always had your exceptions, but you either had like the rock hair band kind of stuff with the very heavy sort of 
thumping of the drums or you had like an indie sound like rem whatever where you had more of a lighter kind of touch mm. eh, i don't know but anyway i kind of picked that out and also like the bass line so i mentioned rem because this band actually um was compared to rem in their sound and also in the vocals you know when um, i was listening to it there yeah. was i i i um i thought there's something in there that sounds familiar and it was, it was, it's reminded me now of an REM song. I can't remember the song, but you, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Mark Mulcahy is the lead vocalist. And so he de definitely did, um, you know, before I listened to the song, I actually looked, I looked up information. Um, so I kind of already sort of knew, had that, I kind of knew like that comparison. Um, and yeah, I definitely agree. Um, so Mark Mulcahy, Vocals and guitar, Ray Neal, lead guitar, Joel Podkoski, uh, bass, and Jeff Wiedershaw, drums. So that was the original lineup, and I believe that's the lineup that played uh, on that album when we recorded this song. Um, and they actually formed in 1983. And Where like I from? said, uh, they're from uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Okay. So, yeah. So they definitely, from what I understand, they were um, – they were well received. Um, they were actually popular in New England, you know, in the region where they where yeah. they grew up. But also, they gained much popularity in the UK, um, where they received critical acclaim from in old English, England. From old England, yeah, New England, old England, exactly right. From English publications such as NME, I mentioned that uh, magazine. It's like an online publication now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, NME, and also Melody Maker. So both those. Pub publications uh, definitely wrote very fondly about this band. So, um, yeah, and like just off this first listen, you know, this song, you know, definitely um, I can see what they were talking about. And uh, so just to this song, um, again, I really couldn't find a lot of information, but um, I love the lyrics here um, where, but there I see the old man with the old style oil lantern burning brightly down at the end of the hall. But that was way back. I don't know. That was just kind of, just kind of cool. You know, it's like cool kind of picturing like a farmhouse and like shadows kind of dark, you know, lit, you know, he's got yeah. just the lantern and, you know, the oil lantern, you know, and the old yeah, man. Didn't tell you, didn't tell you the old man had an ax and the other hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of imagery there <laughs> a lot of screaming <laughs> and stuff like that but um uh yeah and so and then also i just i loved like with the sound um like you said the harmonica and the sax right that came up in the beginning of the song but i love it actually repeated itself well, not repeated but it came back later on in the in the, mm -hmm. in the, in the song before it, it kind of just took us out and it was that repeated line i'm not ready yeah, that kind of, that's stuck in my head. Ready to yeah, go. Yeah. 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 And then I've been yeah. wishing for this, but let's um let's wait a little bit longer, you know, and then just repeated that. That was kind of cool too, you know, the lyrics. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, I don't know if he's maybe I don't know what he's waiting for, right? Is he waiting for, you know, to kick out of here? <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute, you know, it's a little too close. I I don't know, you know. I really don't know what the song is about. Um, I didn't really focus too much on the genius lyrics, um, but yeah, you know, um, there might be some fans out there, uh, especially Nish, you know, fill us in, you know, on, uh, on this song, you know, and why you like the song so much, you know, and really as, as far as like, you know, is it a real story that it's really telling us and what is that? Um, so with that said, you may be interested to know. Me? <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think this might, if you were wearing socks, this definitely might be blowing your socks off. Um, that singer Mike, I mean, Mark Mulcahy, um, he actually influenced Tom York to new ideas about singing and songwriting. Is that Can cool? we ever do a, a reaction that we don't reference Tom York? <laughs> he influenced Tom York in what way? Um, and, uh, about new ideas about singing and songwriting. So I don't know when that conversation or that relationship formed. And I don't know, mm -hmm. like in what context again, you know, if they were just having a mm -hmm. cup of coffee, if they were touring together, if they were passing, you know, I don't know, like what, you know, the extent of that relationship, how it came about. I'm wondering, but... I'm wondering if they, like this band warmed up for, for them at some point, you know, if they toured together or something. 
Yeah, but that's really uh, – but uh, they seem to um, have really made a lot of inroads in the music industry with other um, – with other performers. I, mm-hmm. It's not just Tom York. I, there was, there was another artist that um, was connected to the guitarist for this band. Um, something about guitar picks or guitar style, something like that. So, um, but I don't remember that other artist's name, so I'm not mm-hmm. going to go there, but we, it just we really, like to hear other stuff. Yeah. There, really but it seems know. like, yeah, I think that was it for my information, but yeah, I really liked the sound, man. It was really good. And um, I'd definitely be interested in hearing some more, of uh, from this miracle legion band you know yeah oh wait are they still together Did oh yeah that that is a really good question um so they formed in 1983 as i said uh the, until 1996 then they reformed uh 2016 2017 um they did i think some tours you know okay. Uh, the, okay. and then uh, i think that's it i have to remember that. how long ago 1983 was yeah <laughs> yeah, you know, I know, right? I keep thinking it's like, well, it's long ago, but not that long ago. Then I add up the years, you know? Yeah. 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 He's got like uh, the lead singer. He's got like this long kind of beardish kind of look and all like that. So mm-hmm. really interesting. But um, yeah, excellent. This is a really good request. Good choice, Nish. Thank you so much. And um, I'll take us out. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, have a good day. Good night. Good. You too. And uh, and to everyone out there, I really hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you want to get in on the coffee buying, <laughs> um, there's actually uh, a line of text underneath the song title, reaction title, um, down below, first line. Go check it out and uh, click on that link to Kofi site, as Chris mentioned, and there'll be information there on how to proceed. And that said, we'll see everyone on the next episode of Into the Music. See y'all.